Last week, Amazon raised the minimum order price required for free shipping. Seems like a small change, but it was big news. Amazon is upping its spending minimum for free shipping. Now you have to spend $35. Up from $25. That's a $10 hike. We love free shipping. Free shipping offers from Amazon, from everyone, they aren't nice. They're all designed to make you spend more money. There's the threshold approach. Banana Republic makes you spend at least $50. Walmart makes you spend $50. Then there's deal site Rue La La, which offers the Rue 30. You pay $9.95 for your first order, but then for the next 30 days, everything ships for free. You can imagine how many irrational decisions that leads to. I have to buy these boots. Shipping is free. There are savings clubs, Amazon Prime and ShopRunner. You pay a fee up front, but then you get free shipping for a year. You want to get your money's worth, so you end up spending a lot more money. In a 2012 holiday shopping study, Consumer Reports revealed that 23% of consumers were planning on saving by shopping exclusively at sites that offer free shipping. Now that's not a good saving strategy. You should only care about the total price. But as consumers, we're more likely to pay $5 for something if it ships for free than we are to spend $250 for something that costs $250 to ship. You can filter eBay auctions to only show listings with free shipping. But if you do that, you may be missing out on some big bargains. Several studies have shown shipping charges to be the number one reason consumers abandon their shopping carts online. Shipping is such a big deal to us, companies have made it the entire focus of their advertising campaigns. Who can forget this? I can ship my pants for free. Wow. I just may ship my pants. Yeah, ship your pants. Billy, you can ship your pants too. I can't wait to ship my pants, Dad. Now, there's nothing wrong with free shipping. It can save you money. But before you ship your pants like crazy, make sure you're looking at the total cost. 